Good day, everybody. So this is my state of the galaxy, state of the game, state of my account, more importantly, uh, video. And what has changed since we last did this before Christmas? Nothing. We have not gotten any more news on the state of the upcoming new Kylo and new Rey characters. A lot of speculation going around in the community. I have not tried to gear up any resistance or any first order characters in anticipation of these characters i'm assuming given that they're on a higher tier status or get being touted as a higher tier, tier status than what we've already gotten in the game that you're gonna need something outrageous and uh, for this one i am not gonna spend on it i am not gonna chase it as I've said in a couple of my videos, I am not spending any more and I haven't spent a dime since the hyperdrive bundle. So I will see the requirements and then immediately start preparing for the next release. Um, if we quickly just go into my account, um, you'll see that after the last GOTB, I got up to 85 of 100 on my General Skywalker. Between the TW and uh, Sith Raids, and possibly hitting Kyber, I'll get enough get one to put him to 90 of 100. So then I'll probably get him, most likely, right after the conclusion of Light Side TB, which puts me at about two weeks out. So because of that, I have cleared my favorites, and I am getting uh, all of his, well, except for Kira, I'm getting all of his gear ready to take him directly to Relic 7, Gear 13, as soon as I pop that last star on him so Han Solo's up there just because I'm using him as a reference point to farm these relic mats and then I am using I've got his uh the gear 13 or gear 12 finisher I've got the fur the right side furnace and I'm using Ray to farm this piece I need this piece for his other right side piece which I am close I just need a couple more of those syringes and then that piece is done and then Ray will be shuffled off of my farm list and then he needs a, these exact same three left side pieces that Candrus has so I pulled Candrus up here so that I can use him as a farming guide I really only need as you can see uh, the bayonet is almost done I really only need the uh, purple pieces uh, for the med pack for this the uh, bayonet and then I will need this one this is an odd purple piece because this purple piece you have to farm with regular energy the rest are all um, ship energy so I'm actually doing these ones first and then I'll move over and slow farm that but I should definitely have all of the pieces ready for when he is seven star and I can immediately take him right up to gear 13 or r7 and slap them in arena but bang um other than that other than those front four kira's up there just because that is kind of like one of the last uh for now one of the last characters i want to take to gear 12 only because we're assuming that 5v5 is going to be coming up for grand arena and as you can see she's the only per other than general skywalker she is the only purple tune uh even huck's there she's the only purple tune on my team's comps and i want to my own my own ocd is telling me i got to get rid of that so she just needs two more stun guns and luckily um general skywalker does not need the stun guns so after general skywalker's done i'm going to be hoarding resources and then I'm likely going to have to start gearing some of these resistance characters. Hopefully not Rose, but uh, resistance hero Finn actually looks really good. You see he's already got the Zeta. I put it on him just because I don't want to be prematurely spending on stuff. Then I think his Zeta is actually really good. And he just needs the uh, Cairo Tech left for, to take him to gear 10. And the rest of my guys, are you can see, other than BB-8, Ray, and Holdo... Uh, and resistance trooper the other gear 12s at least do not have any development yet so i will have to get on them most likely so i'll be hoarding gear for them and then if we look at my first order which is worse off uh, well i guess it's not worse off um there's some development uh fox has one right side piece um sith trooper is in the same spot as hero finn 
He's gear nine, all the pieces except for a Chirotech and Zeta already on him. So I'm not horrible, um, but yeah, out of all both factions, Kylo Ren Mast is my only relic character. But I'll be hoarding all my resources for them. Um, oop, give me some currency, thank you. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, ships, you know, all my ships are seven star. Um, resistance ships, let's see. Um, that's it. Pfft. Nothing really to see there, but I do have enough resources that if I needed to, I could probably pop them way up. Yeah, 163 ships, Zetas. So the abilities and stuff on them, easily I could take right up. Uh, first order ships are pretty much in the same boat, because I'm assuming we're going to need ships for those two characters. Silencers, all, all, obviously already done. My Kylo Ren command shuttle's done, except for you know higher gear on those three characters. I like the ship. I use it in P4 of Geo uh, TB with my Houndstooth, because it can just strip turn meter and it can strip taunt. It can do a lot of control, so it keeps my Houndstooth taunting. You know, I can strip turn meter for my Houndstooth when it's taunting to keep the taunt up. If a breach isn't up, I can. Uh, immediately give it a hundred percent turn meter if its next move is a taunt. So uh, I like the the command shuttle. I always have, and the rest of the ships. Again, the pilots just need gear. So arenas, nothing's changed in arena. I made, uh, I did a little test last night. I left uh, my Darth Revan in, but instead of putting uh, Geo Brute Alpha, I put in Watt, just because putting in your Watt. Uh, can make it a little bit more difficult for the Padme teams or the Shakti nuke teams. But obviously, uh, it didn't affect me at all because I pretty much fell to right where I always fall, which is usually anywhere between 24, 25, and like 15, 17. So, yeah, let's take a look, though, at the ranks. Everyone's still running Darth Revan. Uh, my buddy Nucci Bucci got his... Uh, Gas up to seven star, and relic seven. Uh, but I don't think he's running him under with the clones yet. I think he's running him with Padme. So everyone, Darth Revan, Darth Revan. As you see there, shooting star is pretty much the lone uh, uh, gas at this time. Rayleigh and Utini using Padme to climb. Nooch. This is the team to talk about. Nooch Ibuchi. Long time friend. He's running uh, gas with Padme. I'm assuming just because his clones aren't ready yet, or his 501st isn't ready yet. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Ark. He's working on him, though. It's got him coming. So, yeah, he's putting it in with Padme, and he's not having any issues climbing with that team. So, some Padmes, Darth Revans, more Padme, Darth Revan, another Padme. All Darth Revan. So, oh, still got a Jedi Knight Revan in there. Surprising. Uh, but uh, usually, un none of these people you ever see in the top 25, usually. Um, like, yeah, no, you do not. Not smoke. Not, uh, Milo will sometimes push up there, but it usually gets pushed back pretty quickly. So, still, my, my arena is still all Darth Revans. My ship arena, let's see where I fell to today. 20th, uh, 20th is again about normal. Um, I started leaving in my Ahsoka on defense instead of fives because I went up against somebody with a faster Ahsoka yesterday and got wrecked. Like, it it, it wasn't good. So I'm like, well, I'm going to try that. I'm going to leave my Ahsoka in and see if it helps anymore. But it doesn't because I fell right again to where I usually fall. Anywhere between, again, that 15 to 24. So, as you can see, Christopher there, the lone malevolence on my shard. Otherwise, everyone's uh, seven-star negotiators at this point. Um, still some people climbing with Akbar. Otherwise, it's all seven-star negotiators at this point. Oh, Zeta Gamers got a five-star. Caradog's got a five-star. Not sure if they've split their resources between the two ships or if they're just in a guild that's not getting that many stars in uh, GOTB. Christopher, the lone malevolence. Oh, wait, no, there's another malevolence. Strath, another Akbar. And I'm really surprised, where is my buddy Benito? Where are you? Oh, are you not? Did you finally switch? I 
if you got pushed out of the top 50, that's really unlucky. He did. Wow, um, that sucks. He has the best negotiator or the best Akbar fleet I've ever seen with like R6 bigs and just insane relics on his uh, on his rebels. So there's the my fleet chart pretty much all negotiator. No news in game. They got their Q&A today, I think, which is going to be non-eventful. Uh, those Q&As never tell us anything. TW starting up again today. Should be interesting given how many... We don't know who we're going up against yet, uh, as it doesn't open for two hours. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how many seven-star gases we got to kill. I've been practicing with my CLS Watt team. And I'm not... I'm about just under 50% win rate in my testing uh, because my Han is only R5, my Chewie is only R4, my CLS is only R3. And, uh, yeah, so... Otherwise, I can beat it with my Padme team, but I don't want to use my Padme team in uh, TW as uh, we'll just go here to my arena team. So Shock T, I used to climb. Padme, I used to kill. That's my go-to gas killer. Works excellent, but it requires Grandmaster Yoda. Yes, it, you can use C-3PO on that team, but um, you also need C-3PO on your... Well, I guess you don't need C-3PO on your CLS team if you are using Watt, which works well as well. So, I should pr get more practice in with C-3PO against Gas. It does work, but I just it's so much easier with Yoda that I use him. But, um, actually, I'm going to switch that right now just because I want to test. Or I'm going to have to probably use in the next Grand Arena this comp with C-3PO. So there we go. Um, Darth Revan, that's the team I usually leave in on defense. Gas, I use that to mow through the uh, Grievous Nuke teams that are still out there. CLS, which is what I'm testing for a gas counter. And then there's my uh, Hopes and Dreams team at the bottom with Kit Fisto as a placeholder for uh, Kiati Mundi. I still think that that team is going to uh, definitely not be a top tier meta team, but it is going to be the same as, say, uh, Shakti clones or Gravis. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good, I think. At least that's what I hope. Uh, because it'd be nice to run these Galactic Republic Jedi again. Especially under a uh, Qui-Gon Jinn lead. I just love Qui-Gon Jinn's character in general in Star Wars. So, there it is. So, I'll let you see my raid teams here, guys. So, um, in Sith Raid, I usually, I'll, if I get in quick, I'll pop in and auto Darth Revan and Grievous, usually in P1. Then I'll throw my uh, Jedi Revan in and auto P2. And then get in some Shock T in P2. And then my P3 team is uh, Talzin, the uh, Anakin Cheese team. And then by then, it's done. My, my Sith Raids go really quick. What else, what else, what else? Nothing much. Again, just hoarding gear. Playing the game every day. Still like the game. Um, haven't spent any money since the Hyperdrive bundle. I think that was... It was either late November or early December. So, it'd be nice. Because I finally got to start uh, paying off how much money I've racked, it, racked up in this game. And that's about it. That's about the state of the game for now. If you have any questions, guys, or comments, or points to be made, comment below. We'll chit-chat. Like and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Cheers.